Peyton Barber. Um, we're going to SB 252. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Welcome to SB252. I'm your host Curtis. Please make sure you like this video, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification button to make sure you're notified every time I post a new video. So listen, I did I did a Big Ten Outlook. I did a SEC Outlook. Go check those two videos out. I'm not gonna do an outlook on every conference. I'm just I just chose the two top conferences I believe are the most important. Now here is my top four final prediction who will make the college football playoffs next year. Starting with number four, I got a team that is out of the Pac-12, and that's USC. Now, I know USC is a sleeper for this position, but they had a good year last year. They came on late. They got blown out by Alabama in week one. What was it, like 52-6, to six, something like that? But they got Sam Darnold, a quarterback that I, I, I absolutely love him as a quarterback. I believe he's going to make the NFL. He's probably going to be a first overall pick, possibly. And he can lead this team. Not only him, but they have a solid defense. Now, I was debating between them and Washington, but then I remembered. USC actually went into Washington last year and beat them 26-13. to So, this year, USC will be a year better. Washington lost some starters on the secondary, which is very was very crucial to their success last year. And I just don't see how they can replace that. So, USC, you're the fourth slot for the playoffs. Now, number three slot, I got a team that didn't make it last year, but only didn't make it because they came up short. Just because a receiver in a big time game couldn't stretch forward and get a first down when they played Clemson last year. Remember it was like, guys, it was like fourth and two and Jackson threw the football and the receiver caught it and he couldn't reach for the first down line. Like, like he could have. He acted like a doorknob but didn't reach for the first down. So I think this team, although they lost some defensive players, they lost three receivers, that's okay. They still got Lamar Jackson, and he's going to do good. He's the Heisman from last season. He's going to go out there. He's going to do it again. I believe in him. I trust in him. So when you got a quarterback of that caliber, you ought to make the playoffs, and you will. Now, number two, it's I have a team – that is very familiar with the playoffs. They made the playoffs last year, and that's Ohio State. I told you guys on the Big Ten Outlook I did that I think that the playoffs for the Big Ten will be determined by the final game of the season between Michigan State and Ohio State. But here's the thing. I believe Ohio State's going to win that game and enter into the playoffs as the two slot. And here's why. They're young. They didn't lose many starters from last year, and they shocked a lot of people last year, and they're going to improve. And Urban Myers is actually a better college football coach than what Jim Harbaugh is. Harbaugh's a great NFL coach, but not as good of a college coach as Urban. And also, Jim Harbaugh, you just can't win the big game. And until you do it, I'm not going to believe it. So Ohio State's number two. And number one, you know who it is. I'm not going to go deep into it. You know it's Alabama. They're going undefeated this year. They're going back to the playoffs. They're going to do good, and not much to say about that one, guys. I know we, we just all try to forget about Alabama all year long, so we just can enjoy the football season and not think about them because we know they're going to be there. Some way, sh some shape, some form, they're going to make it. So that's my top four. Let me know in the comments below what your top four is. I'd like to know what you guys think. So thanks for watching today's video, guys, and uh, peace.